Virtual Gamer. I go by Arctic, and something I do uh, some regularly on my Twitch channel is I play retro games using old Rock Band and Guitar Hero controllers. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to show how I connect uh, my Wii guitar to my MacBook to control NES and Super Nintendo emulators. And so what I things that I use, uh, I use a Nintendo Wii Mote. I use a Guitar Hero wireless controller to connect to the Wii Mote, and I use a MacBook that's running. Um, Mac OS Catalina. Uh, so here's my desktop. And uh, so what you need to do is connect your Wiimote to your MacBook by opening up your Bluetooth menu, which is up here in the upper left corner. You can see I've connected the, uh, the Wiimote previously, so it's already in there. Uh, so then once, once you've got this open, you press the, uh, the red sync button on your Wiimote and the, the lights will start flashing and your, uh, your MacBook has, or your Mac has Bluetooth, so it should be able to find the Wiimote and connect. If uh, pressing the sync button doesn't work, you can try uh, pressing the one and two button together and it should connect. Sometimes it takes a few times, but it'll find it. There it goes, so it's connected. You can see it's connected here. And, and so this other pro uh, window I have here is a program called uh, Osculator. And uh, I'll talk about that in a second. But uh, so note that you can't, I can't figure out how to connect Wiimotes to the Mac OS uh, Monterey, so which is the latest version of Mac OS, and because I couldn't get past the um, pass key required window. And so if you know how to get past that in more recent Mac OS versions, uh, please let people know, know how to do that down in the comments. Uh, so, okay, so we've got a Wiimote that's connected. You can see it's lit up. And uh, up here you can see it's connected. And so we can connect our guitar to the, uh, to the Wiimote. So I'm gonna do that right here. So the window next to the Bluetooth uh, window is a program that I have uh, downloaded called Osculator. And so you can Google that. It's, uh, it's, the link is also going to be down in the description. And um, search that and open that up. And once you're connected, you'll see that once I start moving things, that uh, this, this window in Osculator will start registering the inputs. So like if I press this green button on the guitar, then right here this, uh, this will light up. And so the MacBook is seeing this Wii guitar uh, as inputs, but I have to tell it what uh, what I want to do with them. And so using the Osculator program, uh, I can take these inputs and I can translate them to key combos or keyboard commands. So like if I want to make this blue, um, uh, sorry, this, this, this blue input, oh, what's happening? This blue, then I can, I, I can click in this event type and I can change it to key combo. And I can say, please make this a key combo to press the button, um, let's say, uh, down. Oops, down. So now uh, I've created a key combo for blue. And so whenever blue is pressed, the MacBook will register that as the uh, input down. So if I'm over here, then I can, if I press the blue button, you can see that uh, I, I'm moving down in the uh, in the menu. I can do the same thing for green here. I can make this a key combo. I can change this to uh, I, new. I need to set this to up. Oops, up. And now if I'm in this window, I can, I can go up and down. And I can do this, uh, I can repeat this for every other uh, uh, every other button I have. Let's make this into uh, uh, X. Oops, X. We can make this one into um, make this one into Z. Just gotta repeat this a few times. Finally, for the strum up and down, so those are down here, I can change those to left and right. Key combo, make this new, make this left. Oh, 
that's actually wrong. I need this to be to the right. Make this a key combo to the left. Okay, and then I can make uh, these buttons. So these buttons are also the star power button here. And this uh, plus minus and plus button, I can make those into key combos as well. So key combo. Let's make a new one. Let's make this into C. Let's make a key combo. Let's make this into a new one. Let's call this V. Okay, so now I've got my guitar and it's registering all sorts of these key combos. So if I press any of these buttons, it will push the, the buttons accordingly. You can see it's like lighting up and saying, oh yeah, you want me to do these things uh, and left and right strum as well. So uh, after, so now my, my guitar is all set up and uh, the MacBook registers as inputs. And so how do I use this to play on my emulators? So I have uh, two emulators, Nestopia and BSNES here. Uh, and so you can just change the, the key inputs to match what I've made for the guitar. So if I go here to preferences, I can go to input and I can see, uh, so I've got these inputs are, um, I, I chose them specifically so that they would match the inputs on my Nestopia. So now, um, my, but these, but this will go up, this will go down, uh, this will, um, jump, this will whip. And this will go left and right. So if I click on the, the um, on the Nestopia, and I should just be able to control control Simon with this. And you can see uh, my window for oscillator is lighting up when I press the button. And I did something wrong because I made this one not the right button. This one should be, uh, I actually mixed these up, so this one should be E, and this one should be X. And that's it, so now I can now I can play through Castlevania with, with the guitar. Let's over here. Okay, and uh, the same thing is true for this program BSNES, so if you should change the, the inputs here to uh, correspond to the inputs that you set for your guitar, then uh, you can just control Simon using the guitar. So well, that's it. So uh, now if you open any game you want, you can control it using uh, the Wii guitar and uh, this program Oscillator and the emulators V, SNES, and Nestopia. Well, so thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video and want to see me beat NES or SNES games using the Guitar Hero controller, uh, you can like or subscribe uh, this video. Uh, you can also watch me play using the guitar live on my Twitch, which is linked in the description. Well, thanks everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.